In a recent video I have demonstrated the basic usage of our thermodynamics code COSMORS. Today I would like to show an interesting use case in which a solvent mixture for liquid-liquid extraction is optimized. For the optimization itself we shall not only consider the bare chemical efficiency but also the environment, health and safety compliance of the solvents. Let's assume we have a mixture of acetic acid and water that we wish to separate. These two compounds mix very well and are tough to separate again. Hmm. One way to do it is to use a liquid-liquid extraction scheme with n-hexane as a solvent. Here I have opened the Cosmo RS GUI in the LLE solvent optimization tab. Then I have added a handful of common lab solvents from the database to the list of the solvents and specified water and acetic acid as solutes. To start the optimization process, I click Run. Within a couple of seconds, the results will be displayed in the right window and indeed N-hexane is chosen, though the program suggests adding a tiny amount of ether to the mix. Though effective at the task of separating water and acetic acid, N-hexane raises red flags when it comes to EHS compliance, as a peek into the GSK solvent selection guide will tell us right away. Let's see if we can get around this. Here I have adjusted the list of available solvents and restricted our problem to the solvents with the fewest issues according to the GSK Solvent Selection Guide. The result is a combination of a mostly aqueous phase and a dimethyl carbonate tetbutyl acetate phase as the solution. This solvent system provides a good value for a separation with the distribution coefficient of D232.8, but it's still worse than the distribution coefficient of the initial water hexane solvent system by roughly a factor of 6. Let's increase the search space by allowing solvents with some issues, according to the GSK. After adding the solvents from the database, I can rerun the optimization and now I actually end up with a solvent system that is predicted to be more efficient than the initial anhexane solvent. With the distribution coefficient of 1891.1. In fact, there exist many effective combinations of solvents with good EHS compliance for this task, as the successive variation of the solvent search space will reveal. For those of you interested in the details, I will put a link to the step-by-step -step online tutorial of this in the video description. So that's it for this week. I hope you found this useful and as always, comments and questions are welcome below the video.